So the plan is to take the bottom magnet and attach it to a big wooden board so it won't go anywhere. Then attach another plank to the top magnet to make it a little easier to stand on. Okay, that uh, is definitely attached to the floor. Thank you. All right, now, if I just get this lined up, whoa, look at that. It could totally, oh, wait a minute, totally, it doesn't want to stay put. Oh, wait a minute. They levitate. Come on. Levitate. Why doesn't it want to stay? It just doesn't. Hmm. Should I stand on it? OK, I'll stand on it. Here we go. And ah, ha. Ah. Am I levitating? No. No. Hmm. So why isn't this working? Well, just like your pencil experiment, we need a shaft through the center to hold the magnets in position. Oh, yeah, maybe we could use like a ring magnet. Yes. That, like we use with the pencil. Right. And? And we're going to need stronger magnets. We're going to need stronger magnets. Are the ring magnets strong? Yes, they can be. Awesome. All right, let's do it. All right. This is a magnet. And here is the magnetic field. It's often drawn with lines like this, but actually the magnetic field radiates out in all directions. Really, think of the magnetic field kind of like a ball. When you try to balance another magnet on top of the first magnet, it's about as hard as balancing one ball on top of another ball. So here's the plan. Just like the levitating pencil, we're going to use ring magnets because we can put a shaft through the center of one ring, then drop another ring magnet on the shaft. It will keep them perfectly aligned. Then it's just a matter of putting the bottom magnet on a board to keep it stable and using another board so I can stand on it and ta-da, magnetic levitation. Or at least that's the plan. Okay, board. Magnets. Magnets. Ooh, look at that. Awesome. And now I'm going to put the platform on. Nice. I got some weights here. Let's see how this works. Yeah. This is going to work amazing. All right, think I should try it? Give it a try. OK. Here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm levitating. What? Just a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah, what do we do? We need more power. More power? I like that idea. How do we give it more power? Uh, more shafts, more magnets. OK, sure. Well, why don't we do, um, why don't we do one, two, three, four shafts, and then we'll have magnets on all the shafts. Great idea. All right. Let's do it. What Matt and I needed was more power. So instead of having one shaft and one pair of ring magnets, we're going to use a larger board and put a shaft on each corner. Then we'll have four times the power because we're using four times the magnets. Hopefully this will be strong enough to get me floating on a cushion of magnetic energy. And magnets? Magnets. OK, here we go. <laughs> this is going to work great. And top board. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what do you think? Looks great. Yeah. OK, here we go. Matt? You're levitating. I'm levitating! Woohoo! All right. It feels cool. It's sort of like, it sort of feels like surfing a little bit. All right, thank you so much, Matt. That was amazing. And there you have it. Science Max, experiments at large, magnetic levitation. You know, I'm surprised we could do an entire episode on magnets and we never actually got them so close to the camera that the camera went all weird because cameras of magnets, they don't, oh, oh dear, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>